Close your eyes. Breathe deeply. Think of this as food for the mind. The mind goes, goes around feeding on all kinds of things, sights, sounds, smells, tastes, tactile sensations. And some of the food is good for you and some of it is junk food. Some of the kind of foods the mind gets and what it sees and listens to. They're like potato chips. You, eat, you can't eat just one. You eat one and it makes you hungry for another one, then another one, and then the, you end up ruining your health just because you've got this craving for potato chips. And it's the same with a lot of the food out there that the mind feeds on. We feed on sight, sound, smells, taste, tactile sensations. But we can also feed on our own intentions. And again, some of our intentions are good food and some of them are not. When you decide that you want to develop powers of concentration, you want to develop your mindfulness and alertness, that's good food for the mind. If you want to develop your discernment, if you want to look for a happiness that doesn't cause anybody any, any harm, that's good food for the mind, too. When you food the, feed the mind with good food, then you start looking at the junk food you used to gobble down, and you realize you don't want it anymore. You've had enough. You're much better off, and the people around you are better off as well. So as you stay with the breath, that's a good intention, because you're trying to develop good qualities in mind. And you're developing a sense of well-being. You're developing a strength in the mind, and the strength of mindfulness, the strength of concentration the resources you need in order to live your life skillfully. So think of a day without meditation as a day without food, or at least a day without good food. You want to feed the mind well every day, every day. That way it gets strong. And as for the junk food that's out there, it's part of the world. You don't have to gobble it down. You can see it, and you can hear it, but you don't have to feed on it. And that makes a huge difference. The reason we complain about the world is we're trying to feed on it, and then it gets us sick. We take in the poison with everything else that we're taking in. But if you're selective in how you feed, then there can be poison out in the there in the world, just like there is poison in the world right now. But as long as you know enough not to touch it, then you're okay. And as long as you know enough not to try to feed on it, you're okay. So be selective in your feeding, and you find that it's a lot easier to live in the world. You develop a sense of well-being that doesn't have to depend on all things having to be this way or having to be that way. You have an inner strength that you can rely on instead. 